Okay, this is going to be another computer resilience video. Um, so I made I made a video. I mean, it's daylight now. <laughs> it was dark as hell. So like I said, I, for every uh, 20 minutes of video that I put up, I, uh, I have to make uh, 24 hours and and then go back and edit them and figure out what I'm going to do. But this this is this is another I've already shipped one APC power supply back and this is the second one. Um, now, is it dead? No, it started beeping and I called them up and uh, and they said, uh, you know, hey, uh, um, you know, that means the battery's going bad. And so I, then they sent me one shipping label and I had to call them again. So they're sending me another shipping label. So I'm, I bought the new power supply and I just want to show you. <laughs> this. Now, if you haven't worked in a data center, you just can't appreciate this monster. <laughs> I mean, because I told him I wanted to upgrade, you know, and because uh, if I'm going to buy it, you know, that one other one now is five years old. That's about all you're going to get out of any PC power supply or any battery. You think about your car, you know, sometimes your car batteries last three. I mean, they used to, you know, way back. I mean, a lot of people don't remember the old diehards and they were making them too good. And uh, I think they actually downgraded their uh, um, quality so that they could replace them more often. Um you know, so they can make money, and uh, that's what they do. But I will tell you this: these data center. I mean, because the banks, the banks. Once you get the banks involved, um, you know, you can't downgrade your quality for a bank. They can do that for consumers, but you can't do it for a bank. Now look at that thing. That weighs. <laughs> I don't know how many pounds. <laughs> now it, it did it cost uh, a bit. You know, that's about seven hundred and fifty dollars right there in today's dollars. Now once inflation hits. Uh, that's going to be a lot more, but that thing's going to last me another five years. Well, I, I, since it's a data center UPS, I bet I'll get about six to ten years out of that thing. So I'm not going to have to replace a power supply. Uh, now, I, the, uh, that one in there, I'll be shipping back in this box. My wife's going to be so happy. Uh, she doesn't see the necessity to upgrade all of this computer equipment, make sure everything is uh, is squared away. Uh, oh, I didn't show you. Oh, my God. You got to see this, man. This is that new uh, creator laptop right here. Uh, look at that thing. Woohoo! Uh, well, I can't really open it up without... Here, hold on. Uh, tell you what, let's, let's get it right over here. There we go. Uh, all right. Well, I, I'm not going to worry about it. See, this is the old... Uh, in, in the previous video, I was showing you my old uh, HP uh, uh, laptop that uh, there's no battery in this because I, I, it swelled up and it was going to blow up and, uh, you know, and, and then I would have had an explosion in my office and no more laptop. It still works. It's good. Uh, you know, everything in here is powered down because I, I, I had to unplug the UPS. to, And that was another thing. I got on the phone with uh, APC. Um, so let's let's give you the... Uh, the story behind all that. So I thought maybe they shipped me uh, the wrong UPS because normally a home UPS is kind of a square. We saw the one that, that I was showing you that I'm shipping back. Um, it's usually a square unit. And uh, so, you know, to get that, that rack mountable monster, <laughs> you know, I thought maybe they shipped me the wrong damn thing. And I talked to them about it and they said, no, you can just lay it on the floor. Uh, it doesn't get too hot. Um, and then they told me that uh, whether it's plugged in or not, it doesn't matter. It's not like uh, my uh, solar generator, which you probably saw in my office. Uh, so, uh, you know, I'm just trying to show you. So this is, this is uh, I, here in Florida, the, the leaves, all the leaves are gone, the leaves are gone. And the skies are gray, and the skies are gray. So, okay. So now all the leaves have fallen. I'm going to go up here. I'm going to blast them leaves out of the gutters one more time. And that's it for me, man. Hopefully for the summer, at least for a couple more months, at least. And uh, and then I I can I'm, this ladder's going. I got a place in the garage where I put it. It's kind of tough to get out, uh, but I've been keeping it out because I had to go up every couple of weeks to blow the leaves out. Uh, otherwise, when those leaves get too too thick in the gutters, it'll rot your roof out. And I paid, well, fifteen thousand for that damn roof. So I'm I'm not going to let the leaves rot it out. So uh, you can see the bushes are trimmed. You know I'm. 
I'm knocking it out one thing at a time. Let's just go over here. I'm talking about resilience, people. You know, the financial crisis is coming. You know, I'm busting my buns. I got to I got to wash this car and detail it. Uh, but, uh, you know, see so right here, the sprinkler was broken. Now, what I did was I rerouted. It used to be right next to who in the hell puts the sprinkler right next to the driveway right here? It used to be right there. So when you brought a car in and you, and you didn't make that angle right, you would just break that sprinkler. So I thought, well, okay, I'll just move the sprinkler over to here, but I didn't want to reroute everything. Well, now if a tire goes over it, it breaks that connection right there. <laughs> so, so what I gotta, I'm going to do is I'm going to buy some pavers and I'm going to put them right here so that, so that if a car does come in, uh, it should uh, equilibrize, uh, e equal, well, I guess that's right, might be the right word, that, that weight so that it won't break that sprinkler line again. And I don't have to do this. Um, so, I, what, what, you know, why, you know, so I, that, that's the, you know, that's the main thing here in Florida. You got to check the sprinklers right at the beginning uh, when, when, when it's not coming. Now, look, uh, I, a couple videos back, I showed you that I had some green on this aloe vera plant. We're getting into the growing season. Look at it, it's coming back. I think it's going to be all right. So let's get around to the garden. <laughs> you haven't seen that for a while. I've been making videos about it. Uh, this this is a bush I bought like t two years ago. And now look at it. Uh, th this growing season, I'm expecting to see big things out of that bush. And that's going to be beautiful. Um, so that's good. Uh, that used to be a crepe, crepe, crepe myrtle that just about came in. And look at these tomato plants. This is just a couple weeks, maybe a month's worth of growth. Uh, they were just that big, you know. <laughs> Look at them. I'm hoping, I'm hoping I'm going to have tomatoes. Uh, the pepper plants, these are the, the peppers are doing good. Um, so, I, yeah, the seeds haven't sprouted. I hope I didn't plant them too deep. Uh, you know, like I said, they're supposed to go in about a quarter. I probably put them down about an inch. That sprinkler right there worked out great. Uh, it uh, it just covers this whole area and that was capped off uh, and I would have never even known it was there until I dug this out because it was underneath the rock so uh, so we're looking good we got the water barrel uh, you know these are just all the things I'm doing to get prepared for the coming financial crisis uh, you know you you hope you hope you're doing the same you know we got the new laptop we got the new APC uh, we got uh, uh, the sprinkler's done, and now I'm going to get up on that roof for the last time, get that done. Then i got to work on the car, and uh, and then hopefully, you know, I'm going to get back to having some fun. I want to I want to continue hiking the Florida Trail. You know, that's that's the whole the whole point of this uh, video series was well, I, I just kind of diverged into this resilience stuff, um, just because I I was like, holy moly, we're we're heading into a financial disaster. Another four trillion, four trillion dollars in, in in debt that the Democrats think you can just print 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 money, and you know, there's not going to be no consequence for that. Oh, here's another thing. So you can look right here. You see that hole underneath the driveway and that's why that hadn't been finished off i bought some cement and i'm gonna pack it in underneath there to support that driveway and then uh and then i'll water it just a little bit so that that should harden up and uh and really uh, support the driveway um uh, you can see the foam i've already had the driveway foam treated uh that was something else because uh, i used to have cavities underneath this driveway and i thought it would cave in now you know okay kirk you know how much did i spend on that i don't know thousand two thousand whatever um but how much would i've spent for a whole new driveway yeah fifteen twenty thousand so you know you do the math man you know a thousand to save uh uh fourteen thousand so you know the liberal mind would just have replaced the uh the driveway uh so here's another thing uh, that i don't have to contend with this summer this was another project uh well a couple of projects you know i replaced this mailbox when i moved in it was all rusted out okay these are led bulbs in the light fixture you see what i'm doing i'm taking i'm picking away at it one thing at a time this used to be rock right here all right so what i did was i took all that rock out because this was a weed factory you know the weeds would grow up in here there was no plants or anything and i certainly and, and, and then there was no barrier underneath the rock who puts rock in without putting a barrier underneath it you can't do that and uh so what i did is yeah, i got to remulch this a little bit you can see there's dirt showing here uh but i put some i've already added some mulch to it and uh and this will be beautiful this summer and i won't have to worry about weeds and by the way use the eucalyptus mulch that repels insects uh you know you, you learn about these things 
All right, so uh, just another quick uh, resilience uh, computer type video, and uh, you guys have a good one. Peace out.